Hello one and all, this is Mr. Cinema Junkie with my video response to the Alphabet of Awesome, hosted by Dyslexic Nick. Uh, made it to the C's. Woohoo! Let's hear it for the C's, man. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite monster movies of all times. Um, and I like quite a few of them, but this was this was something all our own. This was this is America's answer to all the other giant monster movies. And that Godzilla remake didn't count because that was a horrible movie, in my opinion. I'm speaking of Cloverfield. I have heard so many different things from so many different people. They liked it, didn't like it. I think what turns a lot of people off to the movie is the whole shaky cam documentary style uh, filming that they do. Um, it starts off rather tame, kind of slow. A good, good lead-in. It's just an, another day. Uh, they're having a, a going-away party for this guy. No, I'm sorry. They're having a birthday party. He is going away, though. They're having a birthday party. And uh, he's kind of on the outs with his girlfriend. And there's someone walking around with a video camera. And they're just videotaping the party. And they're, you know, going from... Uh, from person to person asking questions having them say nice things about the guy they're having the party for and uh, his girlfriend shows up or his ex-girlfriend shows up and uh, they have words and then they're leaving she leaves with the guy that she's with and he's talking to his friends he's out on the on the fire escape and all of a sudden uh, the building is rocked by this earthquake or, or something something pretty heavy and pretty horrendous um, Everybody hears a newscast that there's been like an explosion in the harbor. So they uh, go to the roof to see if they can see anything. And they see things blowing up way off into in the distance. And uh, debris is flying on the roof and they all run down to the streets. And that's when you see the infamous uh, uh, Statue of Liberty head being thrown against a building and landing in the middle of the street. And it's all torn up. And from there on, it's just a whole thing of people trying to escape the city. And you see little glimpses of this creature, this enormous creature that's attacking New York. Um, <clears throat> it was shrouded in a lot of speculation and mystery when it first came out. I remember people were saying, you know, they wanted to see if, if anyone had glimpses of the Cloverfield monster. Everyone was making, like, attempts to sketch it out. And, oh, I think I see it here. And people were taking still frames and... People said, "Oh, you can see, you can see the monster in the poster right around here, or right around here," and just all these different things that were that had to do with it. It built up a lot of hype. Um, I didn't see it for any of that, though. I saw it because I like these types of movies. I like the documentary style movies, uh, Blair Witch Project, things like that, and this is one of those types of movies. And but it was done with such, it was so cool and so fun. Uh, I just thought it was an awesome flick all the way around. And I hear they're supposed to be making a part two. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, that was just a quick rundown of my entry into the C, the C section. Okay. Um, my entry for the C's in the Alphabet of Awesome, Cloverfield. 